Kia ora and welcome to your wilderness adventure. Now this, hey, stylish set of wheels will be your home for the next little while. So listen up as we show you how to use some of the features that you'll use most often. Now, if you need more information, no problem. Check out the motorhome user manual stored in the cab. You can stop this video at any time and re-watch the sections you need to. That's cool, man. Before setting off each day, check that the heater unit has been turned off. The power lead is unplugged from the power box and stowed away. The LPG bottles are turned off. The outside step is retracted. The cupboards and drawers are locked. The refrigerator is closed. And the table extension, drop-down bed, roof vents and windows are all secured. Ah. It's nearly time to head off. But before you go, let's run through how your machine works. So, pay attention. The motorhome has a nine-speed automatic transmission, which works just like any modern car. When you're ready to go, apply the foot brake, then start the engine, select drive, then release the foot brake. When the motorhome is stopped for more than a few seconds, like at an intersection, the engine will stop to save on fuel. Other essential features like the brakes, power steering and air conditioning will continue to run. As soon as you release the foot brake, the engine will automatically restart. When reversing, use the reversing camera in the centre console to improve the visibility of any obstacles behind you. Turn on the stereo by pressing the radio master switch. Then apply the foot brake. Push the gear lever to the right and down to select reverse and view the reversing camera. As the field of view of the reversing camera in your motorhome, is smaller than you may be used to in your own car, it's a good idea to use an extra set of eyes when parking in tight spots. Ask a passenger to stand outside the motorhome to guide you. If the dashboard warning lights illuminate after you've started the engine, or you have any concerns about the performance of your motorhome, stop in a safe place and call Wilderness On-Road Assistance. Our phone numbers are on the back of the motorhome user manual. The fuel flap is beside the passenger door. To unlock the fuel cap, put the vehicle key in the lock Hold the cap firmly in place, then turn the key anti-clockwise. Only refuel your motorhome with diesel. The diesel must go into the tank with the diesel label on the cap. Never add diesel to the blue cap labelled Add Blue, as this will cause major engine damage. OK, guys, one of the wonders of your new motorhome is it's got power. Now we will show you how the power works and where the controls are so you can power up the appliances and your devices whenever you want. Actually, I should unplug my cell phone. I'm on holiday. Nah. Power is supplied to the living area by a 12 volt house battery and 240 volt mains power. The house battery is separate from the engine battery so you can still start the motorhome even if the house battery is running low. Use the control panel to check the battery level. The control panel should stay on at all times. You can connect to 240 volt mains power at a campsite using the power lead in the motorhome. Mains power is required to operate the 240 volt electrical sockets and to charge the house battery. Driving will also recharge the house battery. The power socket is on the side of your motorhome. You can find the power cord in the bag inside the storage locker. Open the flap to the power socket and connect to the power cable. Plug the other end into the power box. You may need to turn on a switch on the power box. Finally, check the mains power indicator light on the control panel is on. Remember, only start the motorhome engine after you have unplugged from mains power. The 12 volt house battery powers the interior lights, the water pump, the fridge, the media screen and the Wi-Fi unit, plus the USB power points. If you're not plugged into 240 volt mains power, the motorhome will auto select the 12 volt house battery as the power source. Check the indicator light is illuminated. The inverter converts power from the 12 volt house battery to 240 volt mains power. It allows you to use or charge a laptop and most appliances or devices that require 240 volt power when you are not plugged into mains power. The maximum wattage of the inverter is 1000 watts. If your toaster, hairdryer or straightener requires more than 1000 watts, it won't work unless you're plugged into mains power and use the regular power sockets. Turn off the inverter when not in use to reduce the chances of draining your house batteries.
Now, as well as electrical power, your motorhome also has LPG or propane energy. Hey, hey, hey. Now, you're probably going to use this more when you're freedom camping, so listen out for some important safety tips in this section. Very nice. The LPG bottles are stored in the LPG locker. The larger LPG bottle operates the stove and gas oven, as well as the central heating, refrigerator and water heater, when these are in gas mode. The smaller bottle is the reserve bottle. Be sure to park the motorhome on flat ground when using LPG. To turn on the LPG, slowly turn the tap anti-clockwise one full rotation. If you turn it too fast, the LPG may not flow. Make sure the living area is well ventilated before turning on the gas stove. If the main LPG bottle runs out, change the regulator hose over to the reserve bottle. First, turn the tap clockwise to close off the gas, but don't over-tighten it. Disconnect the regulator hose by turning the connector anti-clockwise. Connect the regulator hose to the reserve bottle by turning the regulator connector clockwise. Once the regulator is connected, turn the tap anti-clockwise slowly to start the flow of LPG. The large LPG bottle can be swapped for a full one at most service stations. Oh, beautiful. Now, your home away from home carries enough fresh water for a few days on the road and stores your toilet waste and wastewater until you can safely empty it at an approved dump station, eh? Now we will walk you through how to use the toilet refill the fresh water and empty the wastewater and toilet. You know, it's just, it's easy, sweet as. Hmm, I think I have to go. How long your fresh water will last depends on how much water you use. If there are just two of you and you are economical on water, it should last up to four days. If there are four in your group and you all take showers every day, you may need to refill with water daily. Regularly check your fresh water levels so you don't run out of water. Just press the fresh water tank monitor button. Don't let anything other than water go down the sink or shower drain. Food scraps, fat or grease and even coffee grains may block the drain. Wastewater drains from the sink and shower into the grey water tank. You can empty your grey water tank and refill with fresh water at any approved dump station. Check your smartphone app for dump station locations. Your grey water outlet is located on the passenger side of the vehicle. Park the motorhome as close as you can to the grey water drain. Find the hose bag in the external storage locker and remove the grey water hose. Take the cap off, then attach the hose. Secure the hose by pulling the clips towards you. Put the other end of the hose in the drain. Then attach the tap handle firmly onto the grey water tap beside the outlet. Turn the handle 90 degrees anti-clockwise to open the tap and allow the grey water to drain out. Once the grey water is finished draining, turn the tap off. To close the tap, turn the handle 90 degrees clockwise. Detach the hose and hold up the end that connects to the tap to drain out the last of the water. Flush the hose with fresh water, then clip the ends together. Return the hose to the hose bag and stow it. Make sure you return the grey water hose to the same side of the hose bag as you found it to prevent contamination. There's usually a fresh water tap for refilling the fresh water tank located a couple of metres away from the waste disposal drain. You must not refill your fresh water from the tap right beside the waste disposal drain at the dump station, as it may be contaminated. Find the fresh water hose in the green bag. Don't use the hose supplied by the dump station. Unlock the filler cap by using the water inlet key. Place the hose inside the water tank and turn on the tap to start filling. When water overflows from the tank inlet, the tank is full, so turn off the tap. Replace the filler cap and lock it with the key. Don't leave the hose unattended while you're refilling. Remove the hose from the tap and put it back into the hose bag before stowing it. If the air temperature drops below 5 degrees Celsius, ensure the heater stays on. This will prevent the frost control mechanism from automatically emptying the fresh water tank. If the frost control mechanism is activated, refer to the motorhome user manual. The toilet empties into the toilet cassette under the toilet bowl. Before using the toilet, open the flap at the bottom of the bowl by gently pulling the lever on the toilet towards you. Push the blue button to flush. 
Finally, return the lever to its original position to close the flap. You can empty the toilet cassette at any approved dump station. Before emptying the cassette, lift the lid on the toilet and check the flap sealing the outlet is closed. Open the toilet locker door to remove the toilet cassette. Lift the release lever and pull the cassette out. Swivel the spout outward and remove the end cap. Pour the contents into the drain while pressing the breather button. To clean the toilet cassette, turn the knob, slide back the lid, then rinse and drain the cassette using the hose supplied at the dump station. Add sufficient fresh water to cover the bottom. Use the end cap to measure 50 mils of toilet chemical, then pour into the cassette. Replace the end cap and swivel the spout into its original position. Then slide the lid back, turn the knob to close the flap. To stow the cassette, gently slide it into the toilet locker, don't force it. The release lever will click when the toilet cassette is secured. Since most dump stations have a recycling station, take the opportunity to recycle while you're there. Ah, there you are. Now, this bit's really important. The easy to use central heating system is one of the joys of a wilderness motorhome, <laughs> especially in the winter. Now, there's quite a few settings, so please pay attention if you want to stay warm on your road trip. The heating system heats the living area and hot water. It operates from the 240 volt mains power system when the motorhome is plugged in, and from the LPG system when you're freedom camping. Before turning on the central heating system, make sure you are connected to a power source. The energy source needs to be turned on before the heating system is turned on. Turn on the heater by tapping the rotary push button. The flashing icon indicates where the invisible cursor is. Rotate the rotary push button to move the cursor. First, select the energy source by turning the rotary push button to the gas bottle icon. Press to select. Turn the rotary push button to choose the energy source. If you're connected to mains power, select EL2. If you're freedom camping, make sure the gas bottle is turned on and select gas mode. Once you press to select, you will return to the home screen. Now you have selected the energy source, you can select the water heater. To heat the water, turn the rotary button to the thermometer icon and tap to select. Turn the rotary button to eco and tap to select. To heat the living area, Turn the rotary button to the motorhome icon and tap to select. Turn the rotary button to your desired temperature and tap to select again. Turn the water heater on at least 20 minutes before you need hot water, especially if you're heating the water from cold. It's a good idea to run the living area heater at 28 to 30 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes before turning it down to a comfortable temperature. The heater should be turned off when not in use. To turn the heater off, select the living area icon then rotate the dial to the off setting. Select the water heater icon, then rotate it to the off setting. Once the heater has been turned off, you can safely unplug from 240 volt mains power or turn off the LPG bottle. You know, there's nothing better than kicking back with a cold beer or a slightly chilled wine, nice rosé maybe, some tasty New Zealand cheese, <laughs> as you watch the sunset. If that sounds like you, you'll need to know how the fridge works, otherwise your beer will be warm. <laughs> your fridge will be turned on and set to auto mode, if the fridge has an auto setting, when you collect your motorhome. As soon as you arrive at your campsite, connect to 240 volt mains power or turn on the LPG bottle. The fridge will automatically select the correct energy source. If you want to check what energy source you are connected to, or manually change the energy source, Turn on the fridge control panel by pressing the power button. To select your energy source, press the left white box on the touchscreen display. Press again to cycle through the power source options. Select A for auto mode. This will automatically select the best power source. The power plug symbol indicates 240 volt mode and is to be used when you're plugged into 240 volt mains power. The battery symbol is the house battery mode and is to be used when driving. The flame symbol is gas mode and can be used when parked with the LPG bottle turned on. If you stop driving for more than an hour, you must plug into 240 volt mains power or turn on the LPG bottle. The temperature of the refrigerator will start to rise without connection to a power source. Before using the gas stove, ensure the LPG is on and the motorhome is well ventilated. 
turn the control knob to the ignition position. Press and hold the control knob and continue to hold while lighting. Release the control knob and adjust to your desired flame. Be sure to leave the glass lid up while cooking and for at least another 10 minutes afterwards to ensure the hobs have cooled down before closing the lid. Open the oven door fully. Then turn the dial to the desired setting, then press and hold the ignition switch to ignite. Be sure to close the oven door when in use, unless using the grill function. To lower the bed in the lounge, adjust the cab seat so they face forward and don't obstruct the bed. Then push the bed release lever to the right and pull down on the handle to lower the bed. Then attach the ladder securely. To stow the bed, remove the ladder plus the pillows, bedding and any other obstructions on the bed. Push the bed up into the ceiling space until the bed locks with an audible click. The windows in your motorhome are fragile and need to be handled carefully. To open the window, release the latches. If the latch has a lock, press this first before rotating the latch. Place one finger in the middle of the pane and gently push outwards until you hear a click. Then release the window. Never force the window. To close the window, place one finger in the middle of the pane. Gently push outwards until you hear a click. Then release the pane and allow it to close. Secure the latches. Never force the window as it will break. Well, here we are. You know, we hope this guide has answered all your questions you have about how to use your motorhome. Now, if you're still unsure about anything, please refer to your user manual in the glove box in the cab. And now, you're all set. Enjoy your dream vacation and leave ordinary behind. I got this. I got this. 